today I'd like to introduce you to technology for far infrared saunas, which has actually been around for quite a number of years. And unfortunately out there right now there is a lot of confusion in the marketplace as to what actually works and what is classed as an infrared sauna. Today I'd like to introduce you to technology for far infrared saunas, which has actually been around for quite a number of years. And unfortunately out there right now there is a lot of confusion in the marketplace as to what actually works and what is classed as an infrared sauna. This here is a common heater that you'll see out there in the marketplace today. And this is actually a ceramic heater. This always runs at 350 degrees. Therefore, there's no way you can touch this heater, you can't lean against it. And also, it is a surface heat sauna. What happens with this type of heater is it simply forces heat into the room and it, sim it just heats up the room. Uh, as far as infrared goes, it is classed as an infrared heater. However, Wien's law of physics will tell you that the higher the surface temperature of the heater, the shorter the infrared wave. So that's, this one here has a very short infrared wave and that's why in saunas with this type of heater, you'll see heaters at the front, back, and side of you. Next, what we're going to show you is carbon heaters. There's a lot of controversy versus carbon versus this. Carbon is more expensive. These black panels that you see here are carbon heaters. You'll notice that I can put my hand on this heater. The temperature of the sauna right now is 104 degrees. And it's a great heater because not only does it have a long infrared wave, um, you can easily lean against it. Typically you'll fall asleep in a sauna and it's not an issue. Hi, my name is Brian Halliday. I'm from Tropicana Leisure. Come visit us at tropicanaleisure.com.